Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a 100% IV level 50 not quite best buddy in the Master League Porygon Z with its community day move try attack. I've made many videos on this but we're going to go ahead and do it again alongside the Zygarde here and see what we have going on. We're actually going to be going with Blizzard for the second charge move. I usually go with Zap Cannon but I just put Blizzard on it. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. I didn't really play. I kind of had my Go Plus on when I was running errands, and that's pretty much what I did because I have plenty here. I suppose I could have collected enough XL candies to power up a Shadow Porygon Z or Porygon 2 or something like that, but I'll work on it another time. I don't really need to worry about that now. With that said, let's get into this. We're going to be pairing it up with several different Pokemon, keeping the Zygarde the entire time. We're going to be going with Metagross as well as Kyogre here. Porygon Z, pretty good. It does have a chance to lower the attack and defense when you do use Tri-Attack. And with Lock-On, it is going to be farming up very fast, as you can see here. So we do have a Zekrom. Let's go ahead and get into this commentary. If you do want to support me, if you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated here. All right, we're going to go ahead and shield them up. And Porygon Z is going to be slightly squishy, unfortunately, but it does hit very hard. And again, it can spam as well as you can see here and we're farming them down with lock on can we get to the charge move we do up against the palkia look at me i was just going crazy i was like we made it let's go and we lower the stats zygarde takes them out before they can even blink next game we're going to be met with a kyogre here this is a decent matchup for the zygarde they're going to be swapping into their xerneas and we're going to go ahead and bring in that metagross to you already know shut it down but we do need to look out because they can still take us out here. Uh, we, are, of course, are going to let that first one go. We do not want to shield that up whatsoever. And they're going to go for the next one here. So we'll go ahead and shield this up. They've used to shield themselves, and we should be able to farm them down at this point. Beautiful. And we even have a Meteor Mash ready to go. Bring it in a Kyogre here. So what was this? Uh, Kyogre. Okay, I wonder what they have in the back. We'll have to see here. And getting, oh, we got to the meter match, but we're not able to get it off, unfortunately. They're retreating with a ton of energy and bringing in a Dialga. This is not particularly the best, but what I'm thinking is, if we get the shield here, all right, they let it go, fine, that works too. So I swap into the Porygon Z. Uh, sorry, we got to sacrifice it here. It is just an Iron Head, so we will be able to get to a Tri-Attack. We lock on down. Let's go, Porygon Z. Putting in that work, going crazy over here, just swinging itself all over the place. Going for the Tri-Attack, getting that last shield, bringing in the Zygarde. Now, they could have a Blizzard at this point, so we'll shield it up. They're not going to get to a Blizzard at this time anymore. They use up that energy, so this should be another Surf, and we're perfectly fine to take that win. <laughs> and Porygon Z really did help us out there with the stat drop as well as spammy, hard-hitting Tri-Attack move. Next game, we're met with the Rhyperior. Now, believe it or not, for the level that I do have the Zygarde going up against Rhyperior with Breaking Swipe, if they do get the attack drop, and they did there, is actually a pretty good counter. I mean, we could go for Earthquake and all that stuff, but we're going to build up to it and then go for the crunch because they always shield up and we get a shield there. I was going to be pretty annoyed if they let it go. And we build up to the earthquake. Now we'll let this go. We will survive. If they want to use both shields, that's okay. They'll be shieldless and we'll be able to kind of run amok here. And they let it go and they're retreating and locking themselves in there with their Dragonite. Sounds good to me. We're going to go ahead and bring in that Metagross here. Now, if nah, this is a Dragonite, I don't think they'll have a Dialga. That's one of the most annoying things to go up against with the Porygon Z because of that steel typing. So we should be good as long as the normal is going to be neutral or maybe we can land a Blizzard. Still holding on to two shields here. We're going to go ahead and shield this up and then farm them down because I can't 100% rely on that Porygon Z, honestly. Normal types, I mean, this thing can put in the work, but yeah, see, that just wouldn't have done it. So they were trying to catch there. Now we're just going to go straight for the Earthquake. There's... <laughs> Yeah, we don't need to mess around. Holding on to that last shield, I swap into the Porygon Z, getting to the Tri-Attack. Although this is resisted, it's still going to do a decent amount. And we're getting a shield out of them as well. That's their last one. Fantastic. We'll let this go, hitting me with a Rock Slide. I don't know if they really want to go for a superpower because that's going to lower their stats if they want any chance to win this. And we're getting to another Tri-Attack. Porygon Z able to take the win for us up against that Melmetal. And look at that. Let's go. So you do have a pretty good chance for this to happen. I mean, I, I get it frequently, the stat drop with the Tri-Attack. So we did rank up there. Very nice. We just needed a couple more points. And we're just smooth sailing here. Not trying to go anywhere. Maybe I want to get to the next rank. I think that's where I want to 
call it good and just have a real good time with different meta. But I mean, I'm doing that already. So what am I even talking about? We'll just see if we can get there screwing around. And we have met with the Dialga. Not particularly the best. Throw in an Iron Head. That's all right. And they're retreating into their Xerneas to catch a not very effective crunch. Now that was good. That was good gameplay right there. Got to admit. Getting a shield. And catching and not very effective. But they're locked in here. But it's still could put up a fight going for the meteor mash do they want to use their first shield here putting themselves on my level letting it go do they have a ho or they're going to come back in here with their dialga with energy right so i don't think they're going to want to go for a draco at this point an iron head and we should barely survive yes we do and we're getting to the uh, meteor mash here and they're using their first shield. Sounds good to me. We're going to go ahead and bring in the Zygarde here to go ahead and start crunching them away. Since we are getting rid of the Dialga, we should be able to handle whatever's in the back unless they're running a double steal. Then we're going to be in a little bit of a situation, but let's see what we have going on here. Using my last shield as they did too. Getting off this crunch doesn't matter what it is here because we don't really have a chance to get to the Earthquake. Landorus sounds good to me. We did lower their stats. This thing is already squishy. I am going to try to get to Blizzard here. They're going to be getting to their charge move, a Stone Edge, and Blizzard is going to easily one-shot this thing, obviously. It's going to be four times effective up against that very squishy tank. Next game, what are we going to see? Dialga again. All right, I mean... Uh, it's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, where are the... Let's see. What am I... Melmetals. I mean, I don't see Melmetal leads anymore ever since I started running this. Once in a while. Once It really depends on what I have in the back. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and shield this up. Whoa, we're letting it go. Okay, calling that Iron Head, I suppose. Holding on to our shield, we'll probably just bring in the Metagross to farm them down. Uh, farm them down is kind of ambitious. Although they are pretty low here. So they're immediately swapping and bringing in their... Kyogre. Now check this out. This is going to be pretty interesting. Going for the tri-attack. Let's get that stat drop and we get it on them. Fantastic. Kyogre's a pretty tanky Pokemon and look how much we did before we even lowered their stats. Let's see if they let this next one go here. We're going to do a ton of damage with this tri-attack and look at that. Almost KOing. Not quite there, but that's still good. I mean, check that out. As our counter is going up for the Porygon Community Day ticket, I am go plusing them in the back with my 24-7 catcher, so, you know, gotta get it some way. And we do have a Giratina in the back. This is over, yeah. But I still wanted to show you the Porygon's potential there, going up against that Kyogre, really putting in the work, especially if you could drop their stats. You could pretty much take them out in two tri-attacks, which is incredible. Or if you have a Zap Cannon, you can go for that and be doing some massive damage and essentially one-shot them. Horrible lead up against the Zacian, but here's the thing. If they're running close combat and wild charge, it, this is a great matchup for you still. I mean, you don't have to worry about it. So we were betting on that, and good thing we stayed here, because that's exactly what seems to be the case. Nobody would go for that, but they catch a freaking earthquake on their Lugia. Oh, you have no idea how pissed off I was. That was a good catch. Don't get me wrong. It just pissed me off in the moment. Oh my gosh, I was so annoyed. Ah, uh, but that it was, you know, the more annoyed the person is, the better it was, right? <laughs> okay. So good catch there, and we're up against them with this Porygon Z, hitting me with the Arrow Blast, plus, gotta love it, bring it in, looks like we have Kyogre, and they're swapping into that Zacian, knowing that they have Wild Charge here. Uh, you know, I did something kind of dumb, I didn't wait for the Switch Clock, I don't think, but it doesn't really matter because it looks like it was ready anyways. So they've lowered their stats by two so far, and going for a close combat, that's going to be by four. So this is going to be able to one shot if they let it go and they're shielding it up. Of course they are folks. So right. So I figured, you know what? We're going to let this go and just farm them down with the Kyogre. Hopefully we can take them out, but they have enough energy to get to the next one here. So hopefully there's something in the back that I can handle because now we're shieldless. Show me something weak to water, please. It is going to be a Dialga. So they do retreat into their Lugia here. I try to farm them down to, to come out of here with energy, but unfortunately we're not going to be able to do that. And they take us out with an Aero Blast with that energy that they had stocked up. Wow. Good game. Next game, another Zacian. Let's see if we can try to win this one here. Hopefully they do have the same moveset so we don't have to, you know, pretty much worry about getting two-shotted with the uh, fairy charge move. Close combat. Looks like we're in here with the same moveset. Let's go. Because we do have that Kyogre in the back, the game just can't resist throwing a Zacian with wild charge at me. So it's making it nice for the uh, Zygarde in the front here for me. 
So we're gonna be getting our first shield. We're gonna let this one go. Hitting me with another close combat. They're not gonna move. Hopefully they let this go because if they do, it will one shot four times dropped on that defense and we take out the Zacian, winning that matchup and we haven't used a shield, bringing in Ho-Oh, which is perfect because we're getting to the crunch, but they are going to have a good amount of energy, but we do have the Kyogre, which is going to be able to handle that, but I'm worried that they're going to have a Dialga in the back because if they do, it's not going to be particularly looking great for me, although we do have Blizzard here and that's exactly what they freaking have. It's a Dialga, so hopefully my, my best bet here to win this is if they let the blizzard go if they let that go we're going to be looking pretty good here if they shield it up that's a wrap i might as well just top left right now they let it go folks let's go maybe we can pull this off here getting to the try attack this will ko if they let it go here and we should be able to get to another well I, we're not getting to another one up against the ho-oh uh never mind they shield it up anyways we have one shield left can we pull this off this is getting close don't tell me we lose another damn game and we freaking do i should have threw the surf are you freaking all right, now I'm just playing like a jackass, okay? But we'll leave it in here anyways because they're still good games and take note of my mistakes so you don't do that either. I just wasn't I wasn't counting the energy that they had left over. It's a little unfortunate there. Go ahead and critique me all you want in the comments. That's okay. All right, and we're met with a ho-oh here. This is obviously seen a thousand times at this point with the Zygarde, a pretty good matchup for me. And they're dropping my attack. I lowered their defense, I think, so we should be back just to neutral here, or maybe I didn't even lower it to begin with. Nonetheless, they're in the red. If they go for a Brave Bird, it's still not going to be enough, and we should be able to take them out here. One, two, and down they go. Sounds good to me. And bringing in a Dialga, so we're going to go ahead and throw this crunch. Hopefully, we get a... Well, not a shield. Well, shield's great too. I mean, but the uh, defense dropped there. So we're going to bring in the Porygon C and we're going to do another Blizzard to Dialga, but they're going to be swapping a Zekrom. Okay, let's go for Blizzard. One shot Zekrom. You see that? That's the power of Porygon C. So we've seen this in my last video when we were discussing how strong the Shadow Kyogre is going to be and taking a look at me going up against a Dialga using Kyogre here and having two shields is, I mean, yeah, they resist you and everything, but the thing is just nasty. But again, you will be taking more damage as Kyogre, but just imagine how much you're going to be doing with every waterfall and then as well as the surfs or if you even land a blizzard or just an origin pulse. I mean, I think actually you're going to want to run origin pulse on your shadow Kyogres because that's, forget it. Nothing's going to be able to resist that. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, Porygon is going to finish this off for us. And we're taking that win. Thank you for watching and take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.